Okay, here we go again. We are done already in chapter four and now we are in chapter five, okay? So in chapter four, you learn to count numbers from 11 to 20. And now in chapter five, you will learn how to add and to subtract numbers. Now, in addition, I will teach you how the uh, how I will teach you the ways to add numbers. I will teach you how to add three digit or uh, add uh, three by one digit numbers or three one digit numbers. We will I'm gonna teach you that one, and then I will teach you also how to solve word problems. Okay, I will teach you how the ways how to add numbers. I will teach you to add three digit numbers. I uh, have three numbers. <laughs> three one digit numbers and then i will teach you how to solve word problems in addition and of course i'm going to teach you also the ways how to subtract ways how to uh, solve word problems in subtraction this time i will teach you addition and subtraction now if you're ready let's start now okay let's go Okay, 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 time for math. Now I want you to know that my name is Teacher Guapo. I'm your math teacher, but please don't forget to subscribe so that you will learn more about mathematics. All the lesson that we have in grade one is here, and even in grade two and grade three. So if you want to learn more, just subscribe and please like if you want this video. Now, again, this is the book that we are using and this book has 11 chapters and now we are in chapter five addition and subtraction within 20 because chapter four is already done counting numbers 11 to 20 finished comparing numbers 11 to 20 finished now this time we are in chapter five which is addition within 11 to 20. now in here we will uh, learn how to do to add numbers by adding and making 10 addition of three one digit numbers. Now here, ways to add and by adding numbers by you will use line numbers, okay? Adding by using line numbers. Now you will see here the line, this is called line. Now in this line, you will see dots, right? So here you will see six plus seven. So from zero, you will see here from zero, jump to number six. And then we will count forward seven times. Let's try to count six next, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the answer here is number 13. So from six, you count seven times, count forward seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's just like six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So the answer here is 13, okay? So that's the way, uh, that's the way how to add numbers. And you will see this one in your book on page 60, right? Page 60, that's how to add numbers. Now here, we have a question here. Five plus eight, very easy. All you need to do is you start from zero, jump to number five. And then count forward eight times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The answer is number 13. So we write here number 13. In number two, number two on page 60 in your book. If you have this book, please open it on page 60. This is Mathematics Smart Plus for grade one. Now here, number two, 10 plus six. Again, start from zero, jump to number 10. And here in number 10, we will count six times, okay? We will count or we will jump six times. Are you ready? Now let's start here. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh oh, again, let me erase this one. Why is jump going there? It must be up to uh, 16, right? We will jump again. We will jump six times. So one, two, three, four. Uh oh. Again, <laughs> it's very difficult for you to write. Now let's do it again one more time. Okay, again, ready? Start from number 10 from zero, 10 plus six. 
So from zero, jump to number 10. So here, one. Okay, next, two. Next, three. Next, four. Next, five. Next, six. Uh, six times. So right here, plus six. Okay, right here, plus six. So the answer here is number 16. Now, in circle number 16. So the answer here, 10 plus six is equals to number 16. Okay, it's very easy, right? So that's how to use uh, number lines. Okay, now here, we will try to answer the question on page 61 in your book. Now, as you can see here, you will see that there are eight fishes, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then three fishes join them. One, two, three. Now, we will make this one by adding 10, adding by making 10. First, we need to make 10. So eight plus three. So here we make 10. You can see here eight plus three. So that is equals to 10 plus one, right? You can see here eight plus three. So we will divide this three into two and one. Okay, we will break it one. So here eight plus two is equals to 10. And then plus one here, we have 10 plus one is 11. Therefore, eight plus three is equals to 11. Again, eight plus three. Now we will make 10. So eight plus two, we will write number two here so that it will be, we can make number 10 and then plus one. So eight plus two is 10 plus one here is equals to 11. So eight plus three is equals to 11. Now here in your book, adding ones, okay? Adding ones. Now here, you will see that there are 12 stars, right? 12 stars here because 12 plus five. But before that, we need to make 10, okay? We need to make 10. So 12, we put here 10 and two is 12, right? 10 and two is 12. Now 10, we have here, we encircle number 10 here. And then two, two. So we will add two plus five. Two plus five is seven, right? So 10 plus seven is 17. So that's the answer. Now here, let's try to answer your book on page 62. There are nine questions. Now, why there is number six and one here? The six and one is from number seven because Six plus one is seven. Now we will add these numbers, four and six. Four and six is 10, right? So plus one, the answer is 11. Now here, how is it one and three? Because we need to find a number that we will add to number seven that can make number 10. So three plus seven is 10. Plus one is 11. Here. What number are we going to write here that it will become to number 10 if we add to number 5? Of course, 5, right? So 9, we'll put here number 5 because 5 plus 5 is 10. And then right here, number 4. 5 plus 4 is 9. Now we will add here 5 plus 5 is 10. Plus 4, 14. Okay, here. 5 right here. What number are we going to add in number eight that it will become 10? Of course, number two, eight plus two. Now two plus blank is five. Two plus blank is five, three, right? So two and three is five. Now eight plus two is 10 plus three, 13. Okay, here, but this one is more than 10. So we will just separate these numbers. Instead of 14, we write here 10 and four. And then we will add the four and three. Four plus three is seven plus 10. 10 plus seven is 17, okay? 10 plus seven is 17. Here, 18, right? Why? Because we add there the two plus six is 16 plus two is 18. Here, this is 18 because 10. So we just add here the one and seven. 1 plus 7 is 8, so plus 10 is 18. 
here. Number 15. And next is number 10 plus 3. 10 plus 3 is 13, right? So we will add here 4 plus 3. 4 plus 3 is 17. Uh, 7. So plus 10 is 17. It's very easy, right? Now, here we go. Here we go. Let's continue here on page 63. 63, addition of three one-digit numbers. So you can see the boy. The boy start from zero and hop ahead three squares. So from zero, one, two, three. He start in number three. Okay, now three and then another four. One, two, three, four. Now the boy is in number seven. And lastly, the boy jump two times from seven. One, two. So the boy, where does the boy end up? Where does the boy end up? The boy ends up in number nine, right? Number nine. So three plus four plus two is nine. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> you can see here. You will see this one in your book on page 64. Page 64. So that is seven plus two. Okay. Seven plus two. So we can start from number two. Two plus, uh, two plus four here is, or three plus four is seven, right? Three plus four, you will see here. Three plus four is seven. And then now plus two again, because three plus four plus two, right? Three plus four plus two. So three, jump three times, start from number three, and then jump four times, go to number seven, jump again two times, number nine. So three plus four plus two is equals to nine. Now here, there are two questions in here. So five plus six plus four. Five plus six plus four. Now we will add these two numbers first. Five plus six is 11, right? Five plus six is 11. Now 11 plus four, that's why we have here number 15. That's why we have number 15. Now here. Eight plus two plus seven. Now we will add the eight and two, and then it will give us an answer of 10, all right? Eight plus two is 10. Now 10 plus seven is 17. That's why eight plus two plus seven is equal to 17. Now let's try to fill in each blank correctly here. Number one and number two. Now, what number are we going to write here? If we will add these two numbers, five plus two. Five plus two is seven. Five plus two is seven. Now, seven plus three. Very easy. It's 10, right? Now, number two. Let's proceed to number two. Now, four plus three. Four plus three is seven, right? Four, five, six, seven. Uh, Plus, what number here? Of course, it's number eight. Okay, just copy the number eight here, just like in the other side. Three, write number three here. So eight, write number eight here. So seven plus eight. Seven plus eight is equal to 15. Very easy. Now you're finished already? Okay, since we are done already in adding numbers, okay, and uh, learn uh, about addition of three one-digit numbers. Now, this time we will learn solving word problem involving addition, okay? Solving word problem involving addition. Now, here we go. In solving word problems, there are steps, okay? There are steps. So here, the first step is read the word problem carefully. So you know how to read? Now, let's try to read later, okay? Now, number two, you have to understand the problem. What is the problem? What do you know about the problem? And what do you need to find out in the problem? 
Okay? And number three, you plan the workings. Is it plus? Is it minus? Since we are in addition, of course, this is plus. So they will decide what operations to use. When you say operations, you have to add or minus. Okay? And number four, you will solve the problem by writing the number sentence and then we will check the answers, right? Now here, solving word problems involving addition. What can you see here? The boy is holding color red balloon and the girl is holding a blue balloon. So this boy name is Kit. So Kit has seven balloons. May gives him five more balloons. The name of the girl is May. The boy's name is Kit. So the question here is, how many balloons does Kit have all together? All together, this word, this is the, the keyword here. We see all together, that means you have to add. You have to plus, okay? Now, Kit has seven balloons, and it may give him seven more balloons. So how many balloons? So it is seven plus five. Now, seven plus five first, we add here. Five plus five is 10. Plus two is 12, right? So Kit has seven balloons and then may give him five more balloons. So Kit has 12 balloons all together, okay? Kit has 12 balloons all together. Now here, in number one, Kenya has six story books. And then... Again, let us read. Ready? Go. Kanya has six storybooks. Mali has eight storybooks. How many storybooks do they have all together? Now, all together. Now, Kanya has six storybooks. Mali has eight storybooks. So, we write here six. And in the other side, we write here number eight. So six plus eight is equals to 14. So therefore, they have 14 storybooks all together. Okay, 14 storybooks all together. Now next, number two. In number two, we will read the question. I mean the story here or the problem. Mother has 12 onions and gives her six more onions. How many onions does mother have all together? So mother has 12 onions and gives her six more onions. So how many onions? Uh, so right here, 12 plus six. So we will just count 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 12 plus 6 is equal to 18. So mother has 18 onions all together. Right? Very easy. That's how to solve word problem. Okay, now we are done in addition. We learn how to add numbers. We learn to solve word problems in addition. Now this time, we will learn to subtract within 11 to 20. Okay, now here in, in subtraction, there are ways to subtract. We will subtracting by ones and then subtracting from 10. Now, here we go. On page 67 in your books, you will see there that there are 17 eggs. Okay, 17 eggs and three eggs are broken. So how many eggs are left? So 17 minus three is equals to? Of course, we will subtract. So we will use a number line. So from zero to number 17 minus three. So we will jump backward three times. Start from 17, count backward three, one, two, three. The answer is number 14. So 14 eggs are left, okay? 14 eggs because 17 of out of 17, three eggs are broken. So 17 minus three is equal to 14. Now here in number one, in number one here, 13 minus three. So from zero 
we will jump to number 13 and then minus three. What are we going to do? We will just jump how many times? Three times, right? So from here, one, two, three. And then right here, minus three. So the answer here is number 10, right? So here, the answer here is number 10. 13 minus three is 10, right? Here, number two, 18 minus nine. 18 minus nine. So from zero, jump to number 18. Where is number 18? Number 18 is here, 18. And then we will jump. How many times are we going to jump backward? Nine times, okay? So we start from here. So already, write here number 18. Don't forget to write number 18 here, 18, and then jump nine times. Already one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? Okay, so 18 to number Nine. Now we will insert a number nine here. Okay. Right? Number nine. And then we will write here at the bottom here minus nine. Okay? Minus nine. So that's it. 18 minus nine is nine. Okay. Now, not once we are in subtracting once there are 16 ice creams and then the children eat four ice creams now how many ice creams are left so 16 minus 4 is what do you think is the answer now here 16 ice cream minus 4 ice cream all you need to do is cross out now we will use cross out okay now we will cross out here so 16 right cross out one, two, three, four. So the, the remaining number here is two. Now 10, my, 10 plus two here is equals to 12. Now in here, there are 16 ice cream. What we did here is we divide first 16 into 10 and six. Now six minus four is two. And then we add 10. And two, 10 plus two is 12. So there are 12 ice creams left. 16 minus four is 12. Now here, there are 14 cupcakes, 14 cupcakes. Nick and his brother eat seven cupcakes. Now question, how many cupcakes are left? Now you will see here 14 cupcakes, 14 cupcakes. Then we will cross out seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cross out seven cupcakes. So how many cupcakes left here? Three and four. So three plus four is equals to seven, right? Uh, 14 minus seven is equals to seven. What we did here is we divide 10 in 14 into 10 and 4. We regroup. Okay, we regroup here. 14 is equal to 10 and 4. So 10 minus 7 is 3. And then 3 plus 4 is 7. So there are 7 cupcakes left. 14 minus 7 is equal to 7. Now let's try to answer here six questions only. Six questions in number one in number one. So here, the answer is 15. Why? Because we subtract here. Nine minus four is five. Now 10 plus five is 15, right? Nine minus four is five. So five plus 10 is 15. In number two, eight minus one is seven. 10 plus seven is 17. Here, number three, 10 and Five. Now, five minus three is 
2. 10 and 2 is 12. Here, 10 minus 7 is 3. So 3 plus 5 here is 3 plus 2 is 5. Here, the answer is 7. And here, 10 and 1. So 10 minus 8 is 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Very easy. Okay, now we learn already how to subtract numbers, right? We use number line to subtract numbers and we use the uh, subtracting from 10. Now this time we will learn to solve word problems in your book. And you will see that one on page, what page is that? Page 70, okay? Page 70 in your book. Now here, same in solving word problems in addition. There are steps. Now in subtracting or in minus, we have steps as well. Now step number one, the same, read the word problem carefully. And step number two, understand the problem. Step number two, when you say understand, you have to what you have to ask yourself, what do I know about the problem? What do you know about the problem? What do you need to find out in the problem? Right? And step number three, plan the workings. So you have to decide what operations to use. Is it plus or minus? Since we are in subtraction, we will use minus sign. And step number four, solve the problem. Write the number sentence when you solve the problem. Okay, and then check your answers, of course. Now here, solving word problems involving subtraction. Page 70. Here you will see here that Susie has 17 roses. And then she gives her friend eight roses. How many roses does she have now? Ah, uh, 17 roses, right? And then her friend gives her eight roses. So how many roses? So 17 roses and eight roses. So we will subtract. So 17 minus eight is equals to nine. Why is it nine? Because we divide or we, we regroup number 17 into seven and 10. 10 minus 8 is 2, plus 7 is 9. So Susie has 9 roses now. Now here in number 1, it says here that Ying has 15 pieces of colored paper. And then she uses, she uses 4 pieces of color paper. Now, Question, how many pieces of colored paper are left? So write here number 15 minus number 4. So 15 minus 4 is equal to 11. So therefore, 11 pieces of colored paper are left. Okay, now in number 2, there are 19 mangoes on a tree. And then father plucks 5 mangoes. How many mangoes are left? So 19 minus Five is equals to 14. So 14 mangoes are left. Okay, very easy, right? Now for you, I have will give you homework here on page 72. You have to answer this one. It says here that let, you have to, to solve the problem here, like 10 minus three, page 72. 10 minus three is seven. So you will color which belongs to hand number seven. And number seven, for example, you will color here. Uh, number seven is color red. Number eight is color blue. So all answers that number seven, just color number, number, the number seven color number, uh, color, num color D, red color. Use red color in number seven. Number seven, red color. Number eight, blue color. So you solve here. All the answers that is seven color, red here eight minus one color red 10 minus three color red right seven minus zero color red here uh, 15 minus seven is eight color blue okay 11 minus three is eight color blue so all answers that is seven color red all answers that num uh, eight is color blue okay Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned. God bless everyone. Bye.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learn a lot from this video about addition and subtraction and we solve word problems, okay? So please answer your books, do it properly when you write and when you color, okay? If you like this video, please thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe, okay? And you will learn a lot from this channel. Teacher Guapo, goodbye. See you, God bless in your exam.